It's Wednesday and we're trying on North Carolina at higher ground. Temperature is 77 degrees. It's almost 11 o'clock and uh, it's going to be a beautiful day again today. There's a slight chance of rain. We still haven't had that rain, so we're watering the garden. Got tomatoes on the tomato plants and uh, all is well. We're in the book of Mark, Gospel of Mark, and we're in chapter 3. And uh, I would title today's lesson, A Heart Condition. A lot of people would title this lesson, uh, The Man with a Withered Hand. Uh, but you see, as I looked at it again, afresh and new today, I, I saw more of a heart condition kind of a story. Uh, oh yeah, there's a man with a withered hand in it. Uh, and it also deals with the Sabbath. <laughs> so somebody might title it Another Challenge to the Sabbath. But I think it's important for you to remember that the chapter references in our Bible are not inspired. Uh, the chapter references were put in by man to try to make it easier for people to find a place that you are reading from. And uh, certainly the topic has been uh, the Sabbath. And, and so when we move from chapter 2 to 3, we're still talking about things that happened on the Sabbath. Uh, but I think God speaks to us at different times in different ways in different passages. And I think it's more of a story of a heart condition uh, than anything else. Uh, at least that's how it speaks to me today. You'll find the same story in Matthew chapter 12, verses 9 through 13, and in Luke chapter 6, verses 6 through 16, uh, excuse me, 6 through 10. And uh, without reading those other two accounts, you'll miss some important facts. But the story is very simple. Jesus is teaching in a synagogue. I think it's important that you realize that Jesus did a lot of his early teaching in a synagogue for he was trying to reach his own people, the Jews. And uh, he was teaching uh, the fulfillment of the Old Testament. So he was in the synagogues and he was teaching likely uh, from the Old Testament as it points to uh, the new covenant, the new commitment, uh, the new way that Jesus was going to introduce to find heaven since you could never find it through being good enough or making enough sacrifices. Nevertheless, he was teaching in the synagogue, so his audience was obviously predominantly Jews. And uh, as he's teaching in the synagogue, there are those that are opposed to him. And that's the first part that I want you to realize, the heart condition. They came not to worship. Let me say that again. They came not to worship. They came not to learn, as Jesus taught. Their motives were to see whether or not Jesus would heal the man with a withered hand or whether he wouldn't on the Sabbath. Could they accuse him of working on the Sabbath by doing a healing? That was their motive. That was their heart condition. I wonder, as you think about going to church, how many people come to church with the wrong heart condition. Uh, they come with a heart that is looking for fault instead of a heart that is looking to worship and to learn. Well, we move on a little bit further in the story and it says that Jesus knew what they were thinking. How do we know that? Well, you have to look at the Luke account. In Luke chapter six, uh, it tells us very clearly in verse eight uh, that he knew what they were thinking. And the other thing that you'll find in Luke chapter six that is not in Matthew or in Mark is that it was the man's right hand uh, that would have been the most important hand for this man to earn a living. Most people are right-handed, and therefore his right hand would have been more critical to him uh, than his left. But what did Jesus do when he knew what they were thinking? He said, is it wrong to do right on the Sabbath? Is it wrong to heal, or is it wrong to, uh, to save rather than to destroy on the Sabbath? And again, if you don't look at all of the Matthew account, you'll find that in chapter 12, verse 11 of Matthew, uh, that he uses an illustration. He says, if you have a sheep and he falls into a pit, don't you reach down and pull him out? Isn't a man worth far more than a sheep? Uh, he's saying, uh, you practice something different than what you're looking for here. You're looking to find fault with me for healing a man on the Sabbath. When you and your fact would save a sheep on the Sabbath, and not find anything wrong with that. Interesting, isn't it? The heart condition. Well, what about Jesus' heart? You see, in this same story, Jesus' heart is revealed because it says that he was 
moved with compassion and that he was moved with a desire to heal this man, but also says in the Mark account that he was angered and grieved at the heart condition of the scribes and the Pharisees who were finding fault with him. Aren't you glad that you know that you have a savior that understands anger? He was angry. He saw their heart condition. They didn't come to worship. They didn't come to learn. They didn't come to see this man healed. They came to find fault. <laughs> a bad heart condition, angered, and he was grieved over it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't that he wanted to just slay them all dead right there on the spot. He was grieved because they had this heart condition. He was grieved over the hardness of the hearts of those that were trying to find fault. We should be grieved over the hearts of those that come to church don't come to worship, but come to find fault. We should be grieved over the fact that they're missing out on what's the best. Well, we find one more situation about description of the heart condition of those that came to find fault with Jesus. It says that when Jesus healed and when he had put them on the horns of dilemma, pointing out that it's right to do good on the Sabbath, they were filled with rage. Their hearts had become even more embittered, even more hardened, and they went out seeking a way that they might do something to harm Jesus. It's a sad thing when our heart's not in the right condition, isn't it? <laughs> I hope that today uh, and Wednesday being a day of worship and Sunday another day of worship, that when you come into worship or come into a teaching time, that you come in with a good heart a heart that's looking for good, a heart that's looking for teaching, instead of a heart that's hardened, a heart that's looking for fault. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.